Hello everybody! Before we get into Stellaris today, I wanted to give a bit of a channel update about what we will be doing moving forward. First of all, I think that this will be our final episode in this series. Today we're going to try to destroy MSI, and I think that this will be a very fitting end, considering that we began with the Payback Origin, and uh, MSI was pestering us all game long. Uh, this playthrough is actually my very first series on YouTube. Uh, some of you guys may know I started this channel several months ago with the very first Favarin Republic episode. Uh, and it's really off the back of this series that my channel has been growing as much as it has. So I want to express my sincere and deep appreciation for all of you who have been sticking around uh, with the playthrough. Moving forward, we're going to start a different playthrough of a different game. And at the moment, I'm deciding between Frostpunk and Rimworld, uh, which are two management type games. Since my work is seasonal, I'll probably also be able to start a third concurrent series in June, which I haven't decided on just yet. Uh, we'll certainly play another Stellaris playthrough in the future. I know that this game is popular and that a lot of my subscribers that I've grown on this channel uh, through this series want to see more Stellaris. Um, and I'm definitely excited to check out the new DLC, uh, but I don't want to do that right away um, because I don't want to pigeonhole myself as a Stellaris channel. Uh, I want to be able to play other games, a variety of games. I like RPGs. I like, you know, story rich games. I like management, colony management. I like city builders. So I definitely don't want to pigeonhole myself by just committing myself to another Solaris playthrough right away. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this last episode and thank you all for your support. Please stay invested as we try out some new series in the summer. Let's jump in. All right, so the name of the game today is going to be destroying MSI and MSI does not look like it poses that much of a threat at the moment. Let's see what we can find out about their fleets right now. 49,000, 36,000, 70,000. Okay, um, none of those are going to be too much of a problem. As long as we have maybe two fleets on the offensive, we should be good. The reason why I won't commit all four of my fleets to the offensive is because I believe if we go to declare war on them they have a federation backing them the Zern Empire the Bruven Hive the Seargog star regime and the Triac theocracy um, so before we declare war I want to see where these guys are and we need to make sure that we're definitely defending the Elgate um, because there's a whole bunch of entrances that lead into terminal egress all over the galaxy So we need to at least have one fleet here defending this system along with the citadel that already exists here um, So the Broven Hive is here They're potentially Going to it would be a long trek for them to attack us this way so if they were to attack us they would probably either attack us directly here or they would try to attack us through the l gate um and i believe they were also backed by the Seargog star regime yep okay um again either it's going to be through the l gate or it's going to be directly there so as long as we're defending the terminal egress system we should be fine and uh Where's the Triac Theocracy? If I can't find it, that's probably because it is not significant enough and it's really small. As long as it's not close to us, we're fine. I just want to make sure that as long as we're defending the terminal egress system, we should be fine. Um, I can't even find this theocracy, so we should be fine. And then finally, there's the Zoom Empire. Um, here's the Zoom Empire. Okay. Um, yeah, we should definitely be fine as long as we maybe commit two to defending terminal egress and two to attacking the Minimar Specialized Industries systems. Let me just make sure we have open borders with the Apoglic Star Empire. Let's see. Migration treaties, Federation... Or, okay, I don't see any closed borders uh, thing here, so we should be able to go through their territory. We can check this fact if we go ahead and take our fleet and we give them a move order into this system. Yeah, okay, we should be good. 
Um, now, what I'm going to do before we declare war is I'm going to move all my fleets. We have four fleets. And I'm going to move them all into a shipyard station, the Corolla station. In fact, I think I'm going to move two of them into the Corolla station. And I'm going to move the other two into another close by um, shipyard. Preferably one that's near a uh, L gate. Okay, so we're gonna send two to Yamathur and two to uh, Corolla. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unpause the game. And what I need to do is I need to reinforce all of these fleets and I need to potentially upgrade these fleets. Um, one thing that we complete. can do, I'm gonna leave this running so we can accumulate some alloys and minor, minor artifacts and whatnot. Um, why do I have these random star fleets here? I'm going to just disband complete. them. I don't know what they're doing here, where they came from, where they're supposed to go. But yeah, we should only have four star fleets. Um, is, if you guys recall, for dealing with the unbidden, we had built star fleets that were heavily focused on kinetic artillery um, battleships. Um, so I want to go ahead and retrofit these fleets back into energy artillery and kinetic artillery um, pretty evenly split five and five instead of all ten um, so if I go ahead and retrofit into energy artillery that doesn't help hmm well what we can do is we can add ship. We can add... Okay, we're going to retrofit this back to kinetic artillery because that's what they currently are. We're going to add ship and we're going to add energy artillery. And since we have eight kinetics, we're going to add uh, three, two energy artilleries. And um, if these get destroyed, we can mess around with this um, some more. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to add ship. We're going to add energy artillery. And we're going to add two of them here we already have five and five called for life form encounters. here we're going to do seven we're going to add energy we're going to add three of them to add up to a total of ten battleships all right now uh we should be accumulating resources our speed is on full looks like we're full up on influence that's fine um what we can do is we can go ahead and start reinforcing these fleets. So, reinforce fleet. I'm still lacking 20 alloys. So, alloys are going to be a problem. Let's continue buying them while they're cheap and then avoid buying them when they're more expensive. So, we're going to let the price drop again. Research complete. All right. We finished researching gamma lasers. Maybe we could upgrade some of our um, ships with gamma lasers. Um, interesting. What is a matter disintegrator? Extra dimensional weaponry. Plus armor damage, plus hull damage, minus 75% shield damage. So, let's see. Has really high tracking and accuracy. Interesting. I don't think we're going to use those. Um, they seem to just be like more extreme versions of lasers. Um, defense grid supercomputer. Defense platform cap plus eight. Yeah, we don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and take this tachyon lance. Um, let's see. Armor damage, hull damage, mine shield damage. Okay, so it's basically an energy X slot weapon. Okay. Um, we probably won't end up equipping that to our battleships either, but it's nice to know that we could. Um, let's see. Did the price of alloys go back down? They did indeed. Okay, we're going to continue buying these and letting the price drop. And with all of these alloys, we are going to go over here. We can reinforce this fleet. This fleet should be at full strength. I have 923 alloys left, so let's go back to this other space station. Okay, the price of alloys is still pretty high, so we're going to not hold off on buying any more alloys at the moment. see it's dropped back down to 7,000 oh, but it 
it's going up right now. Other empires are currently buying alloys. The demand is high. We're going to see if we can wait for it to drop again. There we go. We'll catch it while it's at 7,000. 4,000? 8,000? Yes, yes. 5,000? 9,000? Yes. I wonder if this is what a uh, <laughs> fast-paced stock trading is like. Just looking at the price constantly fluctuating and trying to you know, buy when it's low and sell when it's high and you just kind of have to be constantly looking and having a fast reaction. Um, okay, we can reinforce fleet. This is at full strength. We can reinforce this fleet. That fleet should be at full strength. I still have 2.4k alloys. Let's go over to this fleet. Um, I'm going to need more alloys to finish off this fleet. Um, let's see if I can buy any more. Um, I'm probably going to need to sell some more minerals and some more food to up my energy credits. Yeah, that's going to be necessary. But here, we can wait for the price to drop. I don't know if it is going to drop. Looks like the price is kind of hovering around. There we go. Alright. Hopefully that should be enough. So let's go to this fleet and let's see. We're lacking 88 alloys. Okay, so it's still not happy. What is... The, yeah, I guess this fleet does have... Two more battleships and needs a bunch more cruisers and a bunch more destroyers. This fleet is pretty, pretty beat up. All right, 4,000, 8,000. Yes, we can buy all those alloys in. All right, so all our fleets should be at full strength once they get um, ready. We're going to leave two parked in terminal egress. Um, one of our Titan ships will be parked in terminal egress. And our other Titan uh, ship will be with the other... Um, detachment that's going to attack MSI. Um, MSI, hopefully, MSI and their allies hopefully will not be able to invade us from any other angle. I'm hoping it's going to be either through terminal egress or through here, but we'll have to see. If we need to move around quickly, we'll, we have that option. We have two fleets guarding terminal egress, um, and those L gates give us flexibility to transport ourselves around the galaxy. All right. Let's check our fleets. This one is fully Research outfitted. Complete. This one is still waiting on a couple um, of uh, battleships. This one is fully upgraded. And this one is waiting on a couple of cruisers and a couple of battleships. All right. We can get a new society research. Let's go ahead and we can get another our last ascension perk. What are unity ambitions? Unlocks a set of powerful and expans expensive edicts called unity ambitions. All right, yes, please. I guess all this unity we can use for edicts now, since we don't really need the unity for anything else. All right, Exeter, United Rainian Bloc have embraced cy uh, cybernetics. Interesting. All right, we can upgrade one of our scientists who's just commanding Research a science ship. Complete. All right, not really important. We don't need a science ship for anything. Okay, we unlocked the feature Megastructure Restoration. So I think this should lead into the next research that lets us actually build our own uh, megastructures, but we didn't get the option. Oh, well, there's nothing we can do about it. We probably won't get to build a megastructure this episode. That's fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move all of our fleets into um, terminal egress. I'm going to make sure my recovered asset stays back in Fevnor. I don't think the debt collector should attack us if we're already at war with MSI, but just in case they do, we're going to be ready. Um, in terminal egress, we want to make sure we have a citadel built. We want to make sure that we have all the defenses that we want. We don't need Titan assembly yards. Listening post we don't need, but we could get a um, disruption field generator and we could get communications jammer. Um, anything to make this system more defensible. All right, we have all of our fleets here in the terminal egress system. 
All right, so which of these fleets has a Titan in it? Let's see, so Riven has a Titan and Cardana has a Titan. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take Cardana and Decini. So it's one Titan fleet and one non-Titan fleet. And we're gonna move these to the border and get ready for war with MSI. We should also move our transport army over Hostile into Enterprise Mob. All right. Now these fleets hopefully should be fully repaired, full shield, full armor, fantastic. All right. I think there's no need to delay any further. Um, we have a deficit of energy. That's fine. We can make up for that by new monthly trade. Let's sell consumer goods. Let's sell like 300 consumer goods a month. Okay, let's see where that gets us. All right, yeah, we're back in the positive, um, so we should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and declare this war um, and let's, let's make it swift. Declare war. Okay, we, we know who's gonna come against us. We're going to invite all of our vassals to attack and we can either end threat or we can make them a tributary. Um, I say we choose the end threat um, option. This is just going to completely absorb them into our own empire. Or we could just make them a tributary. I think it'll be more fun if we end threat and we, we absorb them into war. our own empire. All right, we have declared war. We have our defense and terminal egress. Our army should be on its way. Where is our army? Oh, our army's already made it into Entropy's Ma. And so let's take our two, um, our two fleets and let's move them into the chat the Chatib system. In breach of galactic law, we are currently in breach of resolutions. What law is this? Being at war without any hired mercenaries is banned? I don't care. That is a stupid law. Why would I need mercenaries if I have all of the ships myself? Hostile station engaged. All right, here we go. Okay, this is only 10.3K. Um, they're going to be taken out almost immediately. Let's go ahead and move our transport army in and let's start bombarding this planet. What is the defense on this planet? 598. Let's whittle that down a little bit. Fleet combat. Ah, this is in terminal egress. All right, they're attacking us with a tiny fleet. Okay, yeah, that's going to be nothing. Absolutely nothing. We can handle that. Death of a great leader. All right, a small commemoration will suffice. Name on the wall. One of our commanders died, so the Riven Starfleet needs a new commander. And it looks like we have plenty of options. Let's choose somebody with good traits. This is kind of lousy. Hole and armor regen isn't bad. Ships weapon damage, sublight speed. Let's get this guy, our Minister of Defense. All right. Evading hostile fleet. There is a hostile fleet. Where? Ah. MSI is coming to retaliate. Construction no complete. problem for us. We're going to turn this fleet from evasive to passive so we can just leave them here. Okay, MSI is really coming at us with everything they've got, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't think it's going to be enough. Okay, here we go. Is anyone coming into terminal egress? Nope. Okay. Fantastic. 
Now, the Bruvin Hive, how did they get over here? This is concerning. Do we have any other enemies I need to be aware of coming from other angles? Looks like no. What is this fleet? Oh, it's a lot of it's a lot of fleet power. Okay, they're wreaking havoc in the Sandrin United Planet States. We should probably come to their defense. Well, we probably need to take both of these star fleets to do that. Why don't we let them wreak a little havoc down here? We'll conquer it all back. But in the meantime, we need to swiftly conquer all of these systems and then we can pull withdraw from them. Okay, we have a plan. We have a plan at least. Okay, they keep moving new fleets in. That only is good for us because if they move their fleets in divided one at a time, they're going to be weak. Here they go. Hostile fleet engaged. Wow, they just have a bunch of corvettes. That's really bad for them. All right, we need to continue bombarding. 580, let's see if we can get it down to like the 400s and then we can consider invading. Hostile fleet detected. Is anyone coming into terminal egress? Cause if not, I think I'm really tempted to come meet them down here, but I don't want to leave ourselves exposed in terminal egress. I think against my better judgment, we're going to stay holed up in terminal egress and hope our vassals can't can deal with this on their own. Though these are pretty big, big fleets. All right. Let's see how we're doing with the bombarding. Oh, the garrison's way down. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's land armies. Let's move our fleet out. Cassini, Cordana. Let's um let's repair. We can repair in the Chatib system. Planetary invasion begun. And once we're repaired, we're going to move out into Vartavar. Enemy planet secured. Alright, so we've absorbed that into the state of myth fell. Perfect. Couldn't have worked out better. Colony lost. We have lost administrative control over the Colonia Aurora to State of Mithfell, who controls the starbase and the Chatip system. That's fine. All right, 98%, 99%, and 100%. All right, let's move into the Vartavar system. This might be a tough, a tough battle. They've got a lot of fleets, and they've got a tough starbase here. We can handle it. It just won't go as smooth as possible. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged? Where? Interesting. All right. Hostile fleet's present. I think that's got to be done here. Yes. All right. I think we're going to win this with minimal casualties. Spaceborne life form encountered. How do we have an alloys deficit as well? And look at this energy deficit. Oh my gosh. So we haven't gotten a chance to build an orbital ring, but look at this. They act kind of like uh, star bases. They can, they can uh, attack enemy fleets. We have made first contact with. Uh, mysterious aliens in the Hilo system. All right, interesting. I don't think we're going to follow up with this, given that this is our last episode. We have one focus and one focus only, and that is kicking MSI's butt. Kicking MSI's pathetic little butt. Okay, um, let's go ahead and start bombarding this planet. What is their defense situation like? Garrison of 950, okay. We definitely want to bombard that a little bit before attacking. Um, and then as we're bombarding, one by one, we can s send our fleets for repair. Um, we can upgrade this fleet with gunship focus or our Kaotech focus level three. Let's get our Kaotech level three. 
Um, we unlocked alloy nano plants. We can probably upgrade a lot of our alloy foundries on our worlds so that we can get out of this alloy deficit. I think we should. Alloys, 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 and more alloys. Yes, please. Spaceport under attack. Which spaceport is under attack? I paused it. I want to continue upgrading all of my alloy foundries, but I, I do want to make sure that I'm not getting caught off guard by anything. Hostile fleets are present in the Ophiel system. How did they get here? Okay, this is a problem. This is a real problem. We're gonna have to move out of terminal egress. I've decided. Okay, we're gonna take these fleets. We're gonna move out of terminal egress and we're going to have to meet them. Um, let's at least get down into this system and see if we can beat them back here then we'll beat them back Space down here and then we'll lost. see if we can get back to terminal egress before anyone else tries to take advantage of our weak point there um, how is the bombardment going armies garrison is down to 887 I think we're going to have to continue is this fully upgraded? Let's go ahead and start bombarding with this fleet as well. This fleet needs to repair so we can trade off. Open council position. We need a head of research. Let's assign someone with councillor traits. Okay. How are our Spaceport defense fleet's coming. Okay, they're gonna make it down very quickly thanks to all of our um, Incoming transmission. I forget what you call these. Hyper relays, that's what they're called. Space Migration lost. treaty with state of Panixala. No, thank you. Okay. Let's see if we can't attack them in Halito. All right, are both of these fleets fully repaired? They are, so they should both be bombarding. And we can check the garrison, still at 800. Let's get it down much lower before we attack. They don't have many systems and we don't wanna to take too many casualties with our army. I know technically we can't afford to take the casualties with our army, but I mean, these are like lives we're dealing with, right? So if we can save lives, we definitely should. Hostile station engaged. Um, we can upgrade one of our leaders. Um, let's see. This is the governor of Ultan. We can increase the trade value there. I think that's good. A trade value minded governor. Okay, we're going to go back into Ophiel. We're going to see if we can catch this fleet. I don't think we're going to be able to catch this fleet. That's annoying. They can just make an incursion on our territory and then run away. And then meanwhile, is Terminal Egress going to be completely unguarded? Our Governor of Korim can get a level up. We can get Forge Focus level 3. Yes, please. Okay, our alloy deficit has been reduced significantly. But not entirely. I don't know what's causing all of these alloys. I guess it's a good thing we have a stockpile. Defense armies is down to 650. All right, we can probably afford for the sake of this episode to go ahead and land our assault army. Okay, we're launching our assault. Make sure we have a general. Okay, we do. He's a level four general. Let's do this. All right. We're beating them back. Our psionic armies are not to be messed with. We've taken a few casualties though. Let's see, how many casualties have we taken? We've only taken one casualty. Okay, we can live with that. All right, Astor. Vartavar, does Vartavar have another planet that we need to be taking? Ah, they have a habitat. Garrison of 239. 
Okay, we can just go take that straight away. Cannot land armies on an uninhabitable planet. Really? I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. So there's no way to attack that planet. So we just can't win this war because they have a habit. They have a habitat that we can't invade. Okay. Um, looks like the Sandrine United Planet States is quickly conquering back their territory. We probably don't even need to help them there. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to catch that hostile fleet. So I think our smartest move is to move back into terminal egress and oh boy do we ever need to move back into terminal egress. Just like we suspected, they're attacking us in terminal egress. Thankfully we have the state of Panaxala here to defend. But we can't count on them. Allo allies in this game are not very reliable. Alright. Both of these fleets are fully repaired, so we need to start bombarding. We'll send one to bombard this. We'll send another to bombard this. And is this gonna... Is this space station gonna have the same problem as the last one where we can't... We can't land our armies to invade? No, we can land our armies to invade this one. Hostile fleet engaged. So we will. All right. This is ridiculous. MSI has put up no fight. Planetary invasion begun. All right. How is our bombardment going? Wow, they have quite the garrison on this planet. It's going to take us a little while. Secured. All right. So we secured that planet. So for some reason we can we can invade that habitat, but not not this habitat. That's fine. Whatever. Hopefully we'll still be able to win the war. Hmm. Are other fleets close to making it back to terminal egress? Yeah, 95 days. Okay, we'll be there in like a third of a year. Okay. We have gained administrative control of Spalatum. Ah. Okay, so somehow we gained control of this planet. I think that was our allies invading it for us. Thank you. It's a good thing we have them. For some reason, they could make the invasion, even though we couldn't. Are they going to help us bombard this planet? That would be nice. I think we should go ahead and take out their last um, space station while we're at it. So I'm going to go ahead and just move one of our fleets in to here. And we're going to take out this space station. Okay, I'm going to make sure there's no hostile fleets down hostile here anymore. Station. No, we're doing good. Okay. Are there any planets in this station? In this, uh, this system? Looks like there's one. A forge world. Spaceborne life form encountered. And there's a habitat. All right. Why don't we go ahead and? Start bombarding. We can reinforce this fleet too. Though I need to be careful because we have a potential alloy deficit. Um, here we can also reinforce this fleet. Um, let's pull our army, our transport army, into this system because I see habitat and I think habitats are always pretty weakly defended. Yeah, the garrison is only 239. We can definitely handle 239. And then how is this? This has a huge garrison as well. Okay, so these planets are going to take a little Proceed whittling down. Oh, Managing looks like our allies are invading for us. All right. You go. Technology research, quantum missiles. Fantastic. 
We can get mega cannons. It's a little late for those, but those would have been nice to have on our kinetic artillery battleships. All right, we have gained control of uh, over a store, and uh, here's the last frontier. This planet right here. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and enter orbit here. And we're gonna wait for the garrison to drop down a little bit. 900 is still really high. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected where? Are they coming back into our territory? They are. All right. Looks like our commissary general is not going to win for the re-election. It's going to be our official. All right. We're gonna have a new president in town. I'm honestly going to let them... Am I going to let them? No. We're going to move here, and we're going to try to attack them. Are you guys seriously not going to engage them? They're running away. Council agenda available. Okay, we're going to see if we can catch them out. Uh, we are running out of... What is it? Energy? Yeah, not much we can do about that, but we can just replenish our stockpile of energy credits for the time being a strongly worded letter envoys from the galactic community have compiled a list of articles that the Favarian Republic are in violation of Ooh. and warn of potential possible consequences should we not make ourselves in alignment with galactic laws we will not change our ways or we could execute the envoys. I don't think we're going to execute the envoys. That's a really like ballsy move. But we can just say, basically say, no, we don't care. We're doing this our way. Their garrison on this planet seems to have only increased, not decreased. Are allies going to help us bombard here? That would be nice. Devastation is up to 14%. Garrison is down to 900. This is their last planet. And uh, once we have MSI fully destroyed, I think this war will automatically end. Here are our reinforcements. Let's see if we can catch this fleet this time. Council agenda ready. All right, we can unlock a new council agenda. Let's see if anything here is good. Impenetrable border, star base, hull points, star base upgrade cost, war exhaustion gain. Sure, that sounds pretty good. Make ourselves a little more resilient. Oh, our allies are going ahead and invading because they don't want to wait. We're more of siegers, they're just more of storm the castle and take the high casualties. All right. I don't think it's going to be close. They might not win this invasion, but it's okay. They've definitely weakened them. Okay, no, they're going to win the invasion for us. And here we go. We're here. We're catching the uh, the invaders. Hostile fleet engaged. Forty-eight point one k. Yeah, they're not going to stand a chance. This poor fleet won't know what hit him. All right. And Spaceborne life form encountered. I think that is the end of MSI. Minmar Specialized Industries. Do they even exist anymore? It says they still exist, but I don't know where they have colonies. We've wiped them out, as far as I can tell. Well, we might try to wipe peace out of this, but it looks like the Broven Hive is incurring into our territory. Um, if we wipe peace, are they going to claim any systems? We can only achieve war goals or surrender. There's no status quo for this war. Really? End threat war goal, minus 1,000. 
Our war goal does not permit us to settle status quo. I don't understand why not. We've destroyed MSI. That's what we set out to do. Okay, we have destroyed their fleet, so we need to move up here and quickly respond to this fleet here. And otherwise, our, um, we're just going to be sitting around. We don't have much else to do. Spaceborn life form encountered. Let's move back into terminal egress. Spaceborn life form encountered. And uh I think this might be a good place to end the episode. I think we destroyed MSI. It says they still exist, but maybe that's because the war is still Spaceport ongoing. Under attack. But as far as I can see, Hostile MSI is gone. Engaged. All thanks to us. Here's the theocracy that we're at war with. All right. We're going to call that a victory. Um, for some reason, it won't let us end this war. Uh, even though this war was just to destroy MSI. It now says it's the Valdari Zoom War. Overlord. Oh, because Zoom is the overlord of MSI. Okay. That makes more sense. Um... But we're going to call this a victory. Um, I don't think we need to prolong this into another episode. We've set out what we accomplished to do. Um, we've beat the endgame crisis, as underwhelming as it was. And we've destroyed MSI, our bullies from day one. Uh, and we have emerged all the stronger. Um, we have several powerful vassals, powerful allies. Um, we are perhaps the most technologically advanced, and we have the largest navy in the galaxy. Um, so we've done really well for ourselves in this series. Um, I had a blast, and I'm really looking forward to the next time we make a Stellaris series and we get to check out the new DLC. Um, I think next time, I want to check out a hive mind or a machine empire. And since the new DLC is focused on machine empires, probably be a new machine empire. That's something I've never done much of. I usually play just like regular biological pops, but it could be fun to do a machine empire. Um, I think... It would give us a different perspective on the game, right? Habitable planets are no longer a resource and rare supply. Uh, it's more about what we do with them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking around for this series again. I really appreciate all the support, all the likes and subscribes and views. Um, you guys are amazing. And uh, please stick around for whatever playthroughs we end up doing this summer. We should have good fun with them. Bye.